G'day all, welcome back to Frostbite's G.I. Joe Repro. Thanks very much for watching this video. Um, I'm here today with a mail call. It's a Star Wars vintage mail call. Um, it's a couple of sweet items. There's some last 17 in here and some really nice mock goodness. Um, just wanted to share it with you. So, like I said, thanks very much for joining me. So I got this box from a local Australian seller. Um, this guy is uh, very well known for the very, very nice stuff he gets with relation to Star Wars and particularly Star Wars vintage stuff. Um, I definitely don't have any issues buying off this guy, wondering whether stuff is repro or not. Um, if you're watching this and wondering why a guy with repro in his uh, YouTube and Insta and Facey name is um, concerned or talking about repro. Um, it's because when you buy Star Wars stuff, it's a whole different community. Um, G.I. Joe stuff in Australia, the community, really the large majority of people aren't that fussed and they just, you know, most people just want something to sit there. It's a placeholder. I've always said it's a placeholder. Um, Star Wars community is a whole different ball game. There's really, really good repro stuff getting around. And the concern is that because, um, you know, a lot of these weapons and accessories that get sold with Star Wars vintage stuff are just so expensive. Um, it's not like G.I. Joe stuff that, you know, you can buy a weapon like a you know an accessory or something for five or ten bucks there's some of these vintage Star Wars um, blasters going for a hundred dollars hundred and fifty dollars so uh, repro is a much bigger concern in the, the vintage Star Wars community um, so yeah like I said this guy is very very reputable no worries buying from him um, and I was super happy to grab these items off him. Um, that's Joel from Tosh Station Toys. Uh, if you ever need anything high end for Star Wars vintage, uh, contact that guy on, on Facey. He's great to deal with. Uh, I want to point out that our Rolex wearing brethren from uh, Oz Post maybe did not do the best job with this box. Uh, this is how I received it. That is a whopper of a hole, and that is going through to the packaging. Um, it's another one there. And the other two sides seem to be fine. On the bottom, you know, I don't know what has happened to this box, but I can feel the cardboard, and it is strong cardboard. Uh, when I contacted Joel and showed him the, f the photos of the holes, he was quite concerned because he said he actually used a really sturdy box to send to me. And that's um, that's how it's getting treated by Oz Post. Like, get your shit together, Oz Post. I shouldn't be getting things from people and that's how it's getting treated. So, yeah, anyway, let's crack in. Okay, so you can, you can blatantly see like how thick that cardboard is. It is strong. So straight away, this is the bottom of the box too, just so you know. Um, the address was on the top for both myself and Joel, and I'm not interested in um, you know, sharing that with anyone. So this is what you're getting from Joel. Old mate does not mind using um, a fair bit of packaging. So got that one. Just the two items. So, 
just level you down. You can see what I'm playing with here. If you uh, don't know what that is, let's just cut into that. So it was it's one of the last or the last remaining last 17 that I needed. And it's Barada. Complete with weapon. So Joel did a fantastic deal for me on this. Um, very happy with it. It's a great looking fig. And it's going to look great on my skiff. We'll put him there. And so this is your example of great packaging, right? You can pretty much put this into a pillow slip and use it as a pillow. Um, thanks very much, Joel, for the professionalism. Be a little bit more careful when I'm slicing through this. to the ground. So much packaging, but it's what you can expect when you're purchasing from Joel at Toss Station, Station Toys. Okay, there we go. So ERG, Royal Guard, and see, thanks to his cloak, he is super nice and comfy and snug in that bubble. It's funny, I've got a couple of these loose, but I don't have that stuff. It is uh, like ridiculous to buy. I've been in auctions where just that stuff alone has gone for $45, $50. Um, so I saw this mock in one of uh, Joel's auctions and just couldn't resist it. It was just beautiful. It's going to look great in uh, one of the um, acrylic cases from Brendan Ferris. Now I seem like I'm dropping names right now, but I just want you guys, especially uh, people in Australia, to know who the, the premium people are to contact for things. So yeah, 77 back, ERG, super happy. Got my Barada, got my ERG mock. What a day. So I want to thank you for, uh, for joining in to um, check out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed watching me unwrap this pretty sweet mail call, uh, please hit that like button. If you're not currently subscribed, please hit the sub button. Uh, really helps me out, keeps me motivated to continue making this content for you. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to review, open, or just take a look at, just let me know in the comments. Or what did you think of seeing these two? Check out the uh, other videos that I've got where I'm opening other mail calls. Um, I'll have a few more of these sweet vintage Star Wars mail calls coming up in the near future. Um, yeah, let me know. So thank you very much for joining in. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.